One of the hottest topics right now in Warpath across the entire community is the new Theater of Conquest event, Rome. Rome was announced a few weeks ago, and since then they have put out a reveal trailer. They have started to drop a little bit more information about Rome. It's starting to hype everybody up, myself included. I'm really looking forward to Rome. It's going to be a new map, a new experience, and there's going to be a lot of new aspects to Rome that we haven't had in the game in general and in other past Theater of Conquest event maps. One of those is going to be the new Air Force feature that is going to be kind of the center of attention, if you will, in some regards to the Rome theater of conquest event there are three special specific air force units that are geared for rome specifically and we're going to cover all three of them here in this video so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it Welcome back, guys. Before we jump down the rabbit hole of these three brand new Air Force units coming with the Rome Theater of Conquest event, the first question that you're probably asking is, how do I already have access to these units? And the answer to that is via the test server. So as a content creator, I am given access to the test server, which is going to give me all of the latest and greatest stuff coming to Warpath early so I can cover it all for you guys right here on the channel. So if you guys like staying up to date with all things Warpath, what's coming, what's happening, all of the above, and you guys find value out of these kinds of videos, want to see more of them in the future with future updates, make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously and also motivate me to continue to make more videos. Last thing. If you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is going to be in the description. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the community Discord server. Whether you're a new player and might have questions, whether you're a veteran player and just want to come hang out and chat with different people in the community, doesn't matter. Everybody's welcome. We'd love to have you come be a part of it with us. All right, so let's now jump in and actually take a look at all three of these Air Force units. So it looks like we've got a Martyrs, a Vanguard, and a Liberty one. One from each camp, it looks like the Martyrs and Vanguard camp are both fighter uh, uh, fighter units, and then the Liberty is going to be the sole uh, special Air Force unit, if you will, bomber. So let's start with the Martyr, since it's the first on the list here. Um, we're not really going to look at a whole lot. In terms of, I will say something to note, though, guys, I obviously leveled this up and everything like that. Uh, just to kind of see the stats and everything the leveling up process of these units at least here on the test server this probably is subject to change when rome actually releases so take that for what it's worth uh, but at least in regards to the leveling up process here on the test server you actually level these units up the exact same way that you would any other air force unit whether it's a bomb or a fighter or whatever you use just your normal ammo your normal components for the modifications and all of that so there is going to be some information here about these parts. So I've actually already kind of gone through this process, but we will read it here uh, again so you guys can kind of see exactly what the overview in regards to the parts are for these special Air Force units specifically because it is going to be pretty drastically different than normal parts. So it says, Commander, congratulations on unlocking an exclusive unit for the Rome Theater of Conquest event. To help you get this unit into action, we are giving you free gold plus plus parts to its one, two, and three slots. And then it goes on to say, your new parts have been automatically equipped and cannot be removed or replaced. If you decide to change to a different exclusive unit during the conquest, you'll lose the part for your current unit and gain parts for your new unit. And then it says, when the theater of conquest ends, your exclusive unit and its free parts will be lost. See you on the battlefield. So this is going to be good because all of the parts, I assume, are going to be the exact same, depending on the unit, obviously. But like everybody who runs a Martyr's Fighter, for example, is going to have the exact same parts with the exact same part power and all of that. So it's going to kind of levelize that aspect of it. So obviously it said it's going to be automatically equipped. I think that means when you're actually in the Rome Theater of Conquest event because they're not equipped here. But when you click on it, uh, when we click on it, it does see which part it will give us. So it looks like we have got this gold plus plus gun uh, and we've got this 
and this. So going to be true gold plus plus parts, and I assume that the stats for those units are going to all be the same as well. So I just wanted to kind of go through that uh, with you guys. So the parts are all going to be the same to kind of levelize things. So now I want to take a look at the unit features here, and we're going to do this on all three of the units and just kind of see what is special about each one of these units. So for the Martyr Fighter here, the first one, it says uh, the Whisper Wind reduces the firepower of all fighter planes within its firing range by 10%. This effect cannot stack. The second skill, if you will, here, it says enemy fighter planes will prioritize the Whisper Wind when selecting a target to attack. The third skill says if the Whisper Wind is damaged for more than 10% of its max HP within five seconds, it is only damaged for 10% of its max HP cooldown is 120 seconds and then the fourth skill here it says the whisper wind reduces the damage dealt by enemy bombers within its firing range by 10 percent this effect does not stack so this martyrs fighter plane here the whisper wind seems to be more of a kind of a tanking based unit obviously it doesn't seem like it's going to deal a whole lot of damage if you will but it's going to be more of that kind of protection unit if you will for then other units to come in behind it and actually dole out the damage so it's not real sexy if you will it's probably not going to farm you a lot of kills but it is going to reduce the effectiveness of the enemy fighter planes and bombers and then will hopefully give your uh, team a chance to kind of wipe them off the map with you know more effective fighters so we'll kind of see how that plays but this again looks more like a defensive focused uh, or tanking focused air force unit all right jumping to the vanguard fighter now let's see what the skills are for this vanguard unit skill one says other than its main target the vortex can fire laser beams at up to two other enemy air force troops within its firing range every eight seconds each laser beam deals damage equal to 3.2 seconds worth of normal attacks skill two it says the damage the vortex deals to its secondary targets is increased to 4.8 seconds worth of normal attacks skill three the vortex's attack reduces the damage resist of their target by one percent this effect can stack up to eight times and last for 20 seconds. And then the fourth skill increases the Vortex maximum secondary targets by one. So pretty clear here that the Vortex, which is the Vanguard version of this special Rome Air Force unit, uh, is pretty offensive focused. It's geared towards dealing out damage, killing units. So, you know, kind of working in tandem probably uh, would be my guess with the Martyrs fighter version of this. So you know this is the more sexy version if you will i guess this is the one that's going to be getting the kills potentially or whatever but in order for this to probably be at peak effectiveness you're going to need your group of players that are going to run those kind of sponge units you know and kind of head those into battle and then follow it with these so there's going to definitely be a teamwork slash coordination aspect to running these effectively so the third and final special air force unit here is going to be the liberty bomber let's go through these skills here and see what is in store for us with the liberty bomber said bombs deal damage up to six enemy troops within two map grids of their target these troops take 80% of the bomb's damage and deal 10% less damage for five seconds. This effect cannot stack. So skill one here says bombs deal damage to up to six enemy troops within two map grids of their target. These troops take 80% of the bomb's damage and deal 10% less damage for five seconds. This effect cannot stack. Skill two, bombing runs reduce their target speed by 50%. Skill three, bombing runs reduce their target's damage resist by 10%. This effect also applies to the bombing run that inflicted it. This effect does not stack. And then the fourth skill here, it says the number of enemy troops that can be hit by the bombs is increased to eight. So when you get this fourth skill here, it goes from six to eight. So you get two additional targets there. So this overall seems to be geared more towards army groups. At least at first take here, that's what my impression of this skill set is, is it's geared towards large number of ground force units kind of clustered up in a tight area 
which screams army group all over it. Uh, and so it really seems to be kind of like that army group killer, if you will. I don't know if that's going to be its kind of intended role in reality, but my first take or first impression here of this unit is going to be definitely uh, use this against army groups, and it is going to definitely be effective against them if used properly. And obviously you have to have the right support and the right coordination and all of the above. But if you can do all of those things and do them well, then this is definitely going to hinder the effectiveness of enemy army groups. So that's just kind of a broad stroke overview, if you will, on these three new Air Force units here coming in Rome. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think these are gonna be helpful? Not really helpful. What kind of impact do you guys think that these are gonna actually make on the battlefield? Do you think it's gonna be minimal at best? Do you think it's gonna be pretty significant? Let me know what your guys' thoughts and opinions uh, and concerns might be in the comments below. If you have any, I would love to see what you guys think. I think it's gonna be an interesting take on Air Force units in general, it's going to be an interesting dynamic added that we haven't had before. So for that, I'm looking forward to it, but we'll see how it actually runs in reality and the practical aspect of this. Does it work? Does it not? Does it screw things up? Does it? Uh, we're going to see, guys. There's a lot to kind of wait and see, but that, again, I just wanted to bring you guys a kind of a quick overview on these three new Air Force units what all they offer each of you guys, kind of the parts aspect behind it, because that is obviously pretty unique too. So there it kind of is. Like I said, let me know in the comments what your guys' thoughts and opinions are. If you guys did enjoy this video, found any value out of this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously. And again, just as a reminder, if you guys do have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is gonna be in the description. Click on that link, it'll take you right into the community Discord server. Whether you're a new player, have questions, veteran player, just wanna come out, hang out, chat, get to know everybody, doesn't matter. Absolutely everybody is welcome. Come join the party. We'd love to have you. Thanks for hanging out with me on the video today, guys, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.